Hello and welcome to another Indiehara game demo. This time it's going to be the demo to a game called The Nameless. And of course, if you want to try this for yourselves, you'll find the links and the details all down below in the description, alright? Now this is a game that's going to be inspired by the works of HP Lovecraft, and as you may have guessed, this is another game where I'm going to be playing as a lighthouse keeper. So add it to the ever-growing list of lighthouse keeper horror games. Really hope you enjoy it though. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video by the end, but this is the demo to The Nameless. Okay. Alright, not too much of an intro, we just wake up and, well, I guess that's that. Uh, can I take this with me? Do I have a light source? I don't think so. Now, oh, this is my bed, but I'm not tired. Do you want to sleep in this bed? Oh, John's not in his bed. Strange. Right, okay. So where's John, I wonder? Okay. Oh, hang on. What we got here? Ah! Alright. Oh, a flashlight! Hey! Better than nothing. And what else we got? My journal. Alright. So, January 12th, 1949. It's been three days since I've been on the island. It's just like I thought. Lonely and mundane. But it doesn't bother me too much. I've always been sort of a loner. Plus, John's here. He may be an older fellow, but he's better company than most people my age. As for the mundanity of it all, doing the same thing day in and day out can get tedious. I'm not surprised that the last few keepers who accompanied John here all ended up abandoning their posts, which is why I decided to keep a journal. Maybe this can add at least a small bit of excitement to this dreary place. Right, okay. Am I going to be finding more excerpts to this journal somewhere? What about in this one? Ah, inside are John's belongings. I don't want to intrude. Speak for yourself, I definitely want to intrude. It's what I do best. Alright, doesn't look like there's a great deal here. Alright, down we go. Through here. Okay. Alright. Still no sign of John. And he's not in the drawer either. What about the cupboard down here? Uh, no? No, I don't think that's John. Hmm. Quite a few places to go. Let's see, down here? I'm actually looking for more of my journal, but... Well, I don't know, maybe. Maybe it is just restricted to that one book. It gets cold out here in the winter months. It's best to keep a fire burning. I bet it is. Uh, let's see then. Over here? Oh, it's the toilet, and I don't have to go right now. Maybe in the full game, right? We can hope. Through here? Alright. Okay. What the hell? It's just a small connecting room? <laughs> Alright. Uh, through here? Yeah? Alright. Still no sign of John. Oh, I see. The fireplace. Right, it connects to both rooms. If there wasn't a fire going, I might be able to crawl through. So what we got here? Well, this is our radio. Nothing to report right now. Apart from one of the lighthouse keepers appears to be missing, but alright. Uh, the drawers? No. No. And something. Yeah. Our logbook. Filled with information related to each call we make or receive, such as dates and call signs. All that exciting stuff. A barrel full of oil. Not full of John, unfortunately. I guess he must be somewhere outside. Extra firewood? Right. Through here? Another connecting room? Oh. Oh. This must be the door to outside, right? Here we are. Right. And there it is. There's the lighthouse. Oh dear. The light's off. Where the hell is John? Well, maybe he's inside. Maybe something's happened to him, right? I'm wondering if this has got something to do with all the people that abandoned their post in the past. Okay. Man, this flashlight is pretty useless. It's such a narrow beam and... I mean, it, it's not that powerful, is it? More barrels full of oil, but... Yeah, no sign of John. Let's head up. Even without him, I think we need to get the light back on, don't we? I think I've played enough of these games to know that. We've got canned foods and other miscellaneous things. Let's keep on going. Okay. Up the ladder now? Alright. Oh, hello. <laughs> John, I presume? John, the light's out! 
there's a ship out there. Which is why we need the light on. Yeah, I'm as confused as you. Dead in the water. I've been trying to reach them over the radio all night to no avail. What should we do? We could take the rowboat out there, see if anyone needs help. Good idea. One of us should stay here with the radio, though. Right. You go. It's time to get this light back up and running anyway, especially in this fog. Okay. Hop to it then, John. He's in no rush. How can you see anything? <laughs> oh, the fog, right? Um, alright. Okay, I can't climb up. I can't deal with that. That's that's John's job, so I don't know. Maybe tomorrow he'll deal with it, judging by how fast he's going. So, the rowboat. Let's go back down and let's see if I can find that. This is now going to turn into a rescue mission, is it? Alright. Okay. Nothing else down here. No creepy basement. No. <laughs> I just don't want to miss anything, you know? Right. The light is still not on, John. What's taking you so long? <sighs> okay. Uh, down this way, then? Let's see. Yeah, quite a small little place, but we've got a little dock and a little rowboat. Which way do I go? I have absolutely no idea. And, well, John's not being very helpful, is he? Yeah, I don't think this is such a good idea, honestly. Alright, well, I've picked a direction, and I'm going to stick with it. Maybe I slept funny. Seems like I've got neck problems. I can't turn my head to the left or right here. Oh, I do see something forming in the distance. Is that the ship? It's something. Yeah, I think so. It is a ship, not a submarine or a, a U-boat or something like that, right? Oh, yeah. Slowly but surely, I'm seeing more of it. It's quite a big one. No sign of anyone on board. Hmm. Looks like I'm going straight for the ladder up. So, right, yeah, let's board. Alright. John, seriously, get the light on, okay? <sighs> uh... Which way do I go? Looks like there is a door here. I'm gonna go around the back, around the stern. Let's have a look around the outside before I go in, shall we? Okay, we're on the port side now. It looks like there might be another way in. No sign of anything in the water. I don't know if they ran aground or... I don't know. Okay, got a big old crane here. What cargo was this carrying, do you think? I'm reminded of Jurassic Park 2, The Lost World. Yeah, is there a T-Rex down there? <laughs> Let's hope not. Can I climb this? No? Oh, what about that? Can I... Nah, unfortunately I can't reach that, so I don't think we'll be lifting these doors up. Right. No iceberg at the front or anything like that? No? Hmm. Alright. No sign of anyone yet. And, well, that's us going around the perimeter. Let's see if we can get inside. Okay. Alright. God, it's really, really dark in here, but thankfully there are some lights. What do we got here? It's locked. The sign reads, Captain's Room. Okay, I guess I need to find the captain's key then, don't I? That would be the other door that I passed on the other side of the ship, right? Over here? Okay, this one's locked too. The keyhole is decorated with a silver finish. So we're looking for a, a silver key? Alright. We've got a ladder here. We might be able to go up a deck. Or down a deck, actually. Um... Yeah, let's try that. Why not? Can I go up? Oh, I can. Okay, this one's not locked. So what have we got here? A storage room? 
That's kind of what it looks like. Finally, some decent lighting. <laughs> Maybe there's a better flashlight around here. We can hope, right? Nothing in the locker? No. There's a door there. Anything here? No. no. I don't think it's really the time to get drunk, is it? Maybe after I've rescued these people. Through here? It's locked, and the keyhole is decorated with a bronze finish. Okay, so we've got a bronze finish, a silver finish. I think we're looking for a captain's key. What is this? Resident Evil on the sea? Weird. Alright, um... We want to head back down, I think, right? Until we find some keys. Maybe I should head down to the lower decks. Or actually, what's this way? Yeah, there is a way down here. Okay. A couple more doors, at least. What about this one? Oh. Okay, this one, again, I think needs a bronze key. And this? is locked from the other side. Bloody hell. Okay, what about this one? The first mate's room. Everything's bloody locked. <laughs> I had to get five feet away to check if there was a door there or not. This flashlight is terrible. Man. And I mean, you need it to be a pretty good flashlight with these rather, you know, muddy, grimy, low-res graphics, in my opinion. It's not particularly appealing to look at. <sighs> right, okay, I think we're going down to the lower decks. Maybe I can see what cargo's stored on the ship. Okay. What have we got here? Is that a hand scanner? Of course, it won't budge. There's some kind of device next to the door. Pretty fancy for 1949. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, let's have a look at this. Is this going to take us outside? Ah, it's locked from the other side, of course. Okay. Two more doors. Power? Oh, we can go in here. Alright. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> it's a fuse box. It looks like one of the fuses is missing, because it's a horror game, of course. Yeah, yeah, you can see where it's missing. Just need to find the one by the looks of it. Okay, add it to the ever-growing list of things I need to find. What about this way? All right, this one works too. Okay. Uh, looks like we might have the uh, the sleeping quarters here. Along with a couple of lockers. Let's see. Yeah, again. Can't get drunk. I can't go through the coat, the jacket. There's no keys there. No, nope. all right. I feel like I should probably check these lockers just in case. You never know, right? We've got a lot to look for. Maybe I'm going to find something in one of these. Okay, we've got a book down there. I can't have a look at that. Over here? Nothing? Nothing. All right. Ooh. Is that blood? The blanket is covered in blood. I'd rather not look underneath. Hmm. All right. Well, I think there's one person on board, at least, aside from me. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to start sweeping, do I? Oh, we've got loads of books here. A big stack of books, but none of them are important, apparently. What's that? Okay, there is something flashing in the distance. Okay, we're gonna get to that. First things first. Let's get to this. Ah, oh, the crewman's diary, okay. I resent the fact that the captain agreed to chauffeur around these so-called researchers. He even had a small laboratory installed before the voyage. These people are truly pressing their luck with the strange things they pull off the ocean floor. We aren't meant to be down there. There's a reason God didn't give man gills. Hmm, okay. And over here? Come on, looking for a fuse, looking for a key. Maybe that's what I'm seeing in the distance. Nothing else down there? We've got two over here. Nothing, nothing. Alright. Ah, there you go, that's a key. It's a bronze key. Right. So it- whoa! Alright. 
Is that something they dragged off the ocean floor? I mean, it looked like a, a humanoid, but maybe not a human. Man, I really do wish this flashlight was better. Uh, so, there was a couple of places I could use the bronze key, so... Well, let's see, let's, let's maybe go back up to the storage room, shall we? Yeah, if it's safe to do so. Uh, yeah, let's go up here. And then up the ladder? Ideally, I want to find like a, a radio room or something, right? I want to tell John what I've found. In reality, what I should probably do is just row the hell on out of here. Right, so I think this was... this was bronze, wasn't it? Hey, I unlocked it, okay. Okay. Looks like we're on the top deck of the ship. And still, there's no light on, John! <sighs> I can't trust that man with anything. Okay. Again, just going around the outside. I want to make sure that I'm not going to miss anything. I'm, I'm expecting to find quite a few bodies, but there's only been that one in the sleeping quarters, under the blanket. Can we go in here? We can, all right. Right, again, probably don't want to do any sweeping. We've got the helm here. Gauges, dials, I don't know what they mean. Yeah, I'm a little bit out of my depth. The ship's throttle. There are no engines running. Moving this will have no effect. At least, right now. Yeah, more gauges and dials. Uh, no keys hanging up, nothing like that. What about this? Hey, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Alright. Hey, that looks like the radio room. Can I go in? Ah, the door's locked and the keyhole is decorated with a silver finish. We need to find that silver key, don't we? Interesting. Got a map of the area. Uh, the world. Yeah, quite a big area. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Right. Well, I need to come back when I find that key, right? Let's see if we can find the silver key. I don't think there's anything around here. Could be mistaken. Yeah, nothing hanging up. No key on the box. We're gonna have to come back later. Let's go down half a deck, and let's see what's down there. Yeah. Maybe there's another door I can use around here? Uh, there is, actually, yes. Hmm. This is very, very strange. I still want to know who or what I saw in the sleeping quarters. Or maybe I'm just seeing things, I'm not sure. It looks like there's only one door to try. Let's hope it's unlocked. It is! Okay. Ooh. What have we got here? A dining area? A sort of lounge? A bar? Oh, fancy! Look at all this. I wonder if I can play a ditty on the piano. No? <laughs> this game's cruel. I can't play on the piano. I can't look at the toilet. Okay, we've got a few drawers down here. No luck. What about the cupboard? Hmm. Very well stocked, isn't it? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, some plates. Oh, okay, we've got at least a couple of bottles. Hmm. There's nothing else down here. Ah, <sighs> okay. So, what have we got here? Is that like a dumbwaiter? Oh, but there's no power. Of course, I'm gonna need to fix the power with the fuse. Where's the fuse? Down here, maybe? Let's see. Ah. Oh! Would these be the double doors by the first mate's cabin? Right! Yes, I think so. That would be the first mate's cabin there, yeah? First mate's room, right. I know where I am. That's a handy little shortcut. But there's got to be somewhere else I can use this bronze key. Found it. Right here. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh? Okay. 
We go from the dining area to more of a sort of canteen. Right. Got the kitchen through there? Let's see. Oh, oh, there is something over there. It's the fuse! Right, okay. Anything else? No, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Right. Into the kitchen? Wow, it's locked from the other side. There might be another way of- Whoa! <laughs> that got me. Hey, how did you get here? I I'm sorry, I thought something was Never mind that. How did you get here? Do you have a boat? Yes, it's tied up below. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Now, hold on. What exactly is going on here? There's no time to explain. Shit, they found us. They- Wait, no! Oh man, that looks goofy as hell. He's got some very sharp tentacles there. Oh man. Oh, is this where the demo comes to an end? Ah, right, yeah, it seems so. That's a bit of a shame that it ended there because I was hoping to put the fuse back in the fuse box and see what that powered up. Also, there may have been a few other places I could have gone, so yeah, it feels like I left a few things undone in this demo of The Nameless, but that was the demo. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. What did you think about this? I thought this was a decent start, pretty good. Uh, not amazing, but not terrible either. I do wish that the flashlight was a little bit more effective, maybe it was brighter, maybe it had a wider beam. In fact, I just wish that the game in general was a little bit brighter because the game's visuals are quite brown, dark, dingy, dreary, other words beginning with D potentially. Uh, so yeah, maybe upping the brightness would help with that. But I am curious about the story. I want to know more about what happened on board this ship. What did they find on the ocean floor? Ultimately, what I really want to know is, is John going to light the lighthouse? We'll find out in the full game later on. But for now, this is where I say thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Inside are John's belongings. I don't want to intrude. Speak for yourself. I definitely want to intrude. Oh, it's the toilet, and I don't have to go right now. Maybe in the full game, right? We can hope. The light's out. There's a ship out there. Which is why we need the light on. How can you see anything? <laughs> John, seriously, get the light on. Finally, some decent lighting. <laughs> I had to get five feet away to check if there was a door there or not. This flashlight is terrible. It's a bronze key. Right. So it- Whoa! And still, there's no light on, John! Got a map of the area. Uh, the world. Yeah, quite a big area. <laughs> there might be another way of- Whoa! <laughs> that got me.